But I want to say to anti-trans activists, I want to end by talking to you. I'm not talking to those who are confused or have concerns or all the rest of it. I'm talking for those, to those for whom this has become an obsession. The lives and existence of a tiny minority has taken over your lives. I can see it from your Twitter feeds. Is there anything you talk about? If, if an asteroid was about to hit Earth, a lot of you would just be frothing about trans people. Now, you're going to lose. Comprehensively, you're going to lose. And actually, a lot of your anger and fury and bile is driven by the fact you know you're going to lose. I know a lot of you are like millenarians, because you, like, you are essentially a cult, who, who believe that what you call trans ideology will one day come crashing down like a pack of cards and that you'll get some final vindication and absolution. But I'm going to tell you now, it's never going to come. And you know why? Because however much you howl and froth and spread your bile and your hatred, you are never ever going to be able to wish trans people away. Trans people are always going to exist. And as public attitudes shift, there will be more trans people now, just as there were more people coming out as gay and bi than there were before. You are going to have to live to watch country after country introducing laws, reforming the process to make the lives of trans people easier. Germany and Spain are just the latest examples of countries which have done that. And the final humiliation you are going to suffer is watching trans people who you monster and whose lives you make harder thrive and live ever happier lives. And other than those who have allowed your humanity to rot away, for whom there is no hope, for many of you, as your years advance, as you grow older, you will come to realise, or it will nag at you, at your souls, that all you did, all you achieved, was to make the lives of a minority who already suffer so much pain and hurt and anguish and fear that little bit harder. That's your only contribution on this planet. We all have a choice, don't we? We all have a choice in terms of how we live, the very short window of life that we have on this planet. And for some of you, you have chosen to use that short time you have on this earth to make the lives of a vulnerable minority harder. And you will realise that actually, you're not going to win this. That actually the tide of history is moving against you. Trans people will be accepted. The laws will be reformed in ways that you fundamentally oppose. And the consequences, the fear-mongering about what the consequences of those laws will be, will be disproven just as those who spread fear about introducing or repealing anti-gay laws. They were. They didn't get vindication. They were proven to be wrong. You will be damned by the history books for what you've done. And that, I'm afraid, is the only contribution that you have made.